Hi, everyone. Welcome to the American Family Insurance Dream Bank Facebook page, where we believe in the transformative power of dreams, and we are committed to helping you to pursue yours. I'm Kriterika Panucci, and today we have Shannon for today's fitness event. Shannon is a certified personal trainer and nutrition coach who specializes in, fun in functional training, virtual workouts, and building a sense of community through her sessions. She is the training manager at Anytime Fitness, where they both hold in-person and virtual sessions for all fitness levels. We are ready for you, Shannon. Thank you. Hi, I'm Shannon. So yes, I'm here with Anytime Fitness today, and this is going to simulate one of our virtual sessions. So some of our people in the classes are going to have a set of dumbbells. Some even use just any household gallon jugs um, or equipment. Today, you don't need anything. So today, if you're someone that has a hard time getting up and down off the floor, I recommend grabbing a chair out or even you can use your wall for a lot of this or a couch or anything that's elevated nearby. Um, a mat or a towel, if you have it, or even carpeting works fine in a water bottle. Um, to have nearby. So we're going to start our warm up. We're going to start our session today with a warm up. So this is going to be a full body dynamic warm up to kind of get everything loose, warmed up. And then I'm going to go over our workout today. So we have a. It's going to be on the timer. The bulk of this workout is going to be 30 minutes with some rest built in in between. And then at the end, we're going to finish with a little bit of core and then a cool down. So just so you're prepared for the next 45 minutes. So. If you have your chair out, we're going to go ahead and get right into the warm-up. If not, go run over and get one and then head right back. And we're going to start toes at the end of the mat or the towel. And reach down towards your feet. We're going to walk your hands out into a push-up position. Drop your hips. Push those hips back. And then walk your hands back in towards your toes. That's one. We're going to complete five of these, keeping a nice tight core. Drop your hips, raise your hips, and walk your hands back. So go ahead and continue through those if that is working for you. Otherwise, we're going to keep your hands on a chair or even a wall, and we're going to push our shoulders through our towards our uh, legs, and then hips down, and just switching through a couple of these. So we're really getting a similar stretch here without all that up and down off of the mat. Feeling that stretch in your hamstrings, lower back and core. And after you've completed five of those, we are going to now step one foot in front. So let's step that left leg in front. And we're going to plant both hands on the ground or on your chair. And we're going to rotate towards your left leg. And then bring that hand back down. For five of these on each side, if your hands are on the step, we're doing that same motion, and then switch legs after five. You want to feel this stretch all in that lower back and in that hip flexor of the extended leg, looking up at your top hand to get nice and deep into this stretch. All right, and then stepping up, both feet together. Now we really want to get those quads warmed up. So we're going to lift our arms straight up overhead. Feet are in your neutral squat position. So we're going right about shoulder distance apart. Shoulders back. Exhale as you come up to stand. And we're going to do 10 of these. So now we're starting to get the heart rate up. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up, keeping about 70% of the weight in your heels. You can also modify this with a sit to stand from your step. That'll just give you a little bit more security with these squats. And after that, one more here. We've got 10 jumping jacks. Or if that impact is too much on the joints, we can modify with an alternating jumping jack, left and right for about 10 here. All right, then I want you to catch your breath. And we're gonna, I'm gonna go over this 30 minute structured workout. So we have, all of these are gonna be on the timer. You're gonna hear a beep. If you wanna listen to some music in the background, that's perfect, it's encouraged, it can keep you going. 
I will not have music, so you can pick your own. Um, just make sure that the sound is loud enough that you hear the beep on the timer. So those eight exercises, we have five rounds of 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. So we're working hard for these 30 seconds, and we're taking some nice deep breaths during the 50-second rest and transition. Our first exercise we have are burpees, also known as up-downs. So hands come down, and jump or step back, in, and then arms up. So if you want to add in that push-up, you can, but I don't necessarily um, advise it. We've got some push-ups coming up later. The other option, hands on the step, step, or hop back. Exercise two, and you can follow along with me now to get the movements and to keep your heart rate up to get right into our workout. Exercise two, these are called sit-outs. So this is a push-up position, and you're reaching across to the opposite toe, engaging your core, twisting into a side plank. The other option there, from your chair, we have an elevated plank with a hip tap, keeping the core nice and tight, squared up to that chair. Exercise three are sumo squats. Feet nice and wide, push those knees out. I like to clasp my hands in front, sinking low. Exhale as you come up. You can always add in a little jump here, or if you feel a little bit safer, just squatting to that box or your chair, squat and stand. Then we have those push-ups. So I told you they were coming. And these can be done from the mat in your toes, all the way down and up from your knees, or again, from that step or wall. So when I say step, the other option is to come against a wall. And then we have some split squats. So we can either add in a jump here, and I'll switch you at 30, at 15 seconds. So I'll switch you halfway there. Um, here's how it looks from the side. If that jump is too much, skip it, and only go as low as your knees can handle. Then we have inchworms, kind of like with our warm up. But this time we're just walking out, pause, and then right back in. You want to pretend like there is a string pulling your hips up towards the sky. If that's not um, an option, you can just walk the feet back and in for another modification. Two more. Glute bridges are next. On your back. Squeeze up at the top. If up and down is too much, we're going to mimic a deadlift. Soft bend in those knees, reach down, squeeze, and then come up to standing. Driving through that heels, those heels, and then last we have skaters. Reaching across to the opposite toe, either with a jump or just a nice, wide, gentle step. All right, get your music ready, get your water bottle next to you, and... I've got my timer set up. You're going to hear that beep. We have a five-second countdown, and then we're starting at the top with those burpees, also known as up-downs. Don't worry if you've already forgotten all of them. I will remind you. Get set for us up-downs. Three, three, two, two, one. Go. Hands down. Jump or step back. In. Arms up. The other option, from that step, hands down, step back, step in, arms up. Keep that core nice and tight, lift those arms up overhead, 13 seconds left. A little jump up at the top, six seconds. Add in that push up if you want some extra, and rest. Take some deep breaths. Next we have those sit outs. So either all the way down to the mat, we're rotating, reaching towards that toe, or we'll do a little spin and go. Either or, squeeze that core, keep those hips squared up to the chair or squared up to the mat. Again, with these sit-ups, we want to end up in what resembles a side plank. Staying controlled so you don't do a little 180 like I just did. Trying to reach 
and tap the toe. If not, get close. And rest. Take some deep breaths. Next, we have sumo squats. Feet nice and wide, toes slightly turned out, and we're pushing those knees out as we go down. Here we go. Inhale through the nose on the way down. Exhale through the mouth on the way up. Clear your hips at the top. So what do I mean by that? I want those hips to come all the way through and shoulders back. Keep that gaze straight ahead. 10 seconds left. If the knees are feeling a little iffy, just go ahead, sit down to that chair and stand. Rest. All right, push-ups are here. It's gonna feel like a long 30 seconds. Down to the mat or from the chair. Nice tight core. And we've got 30 seconds of push-ups. And go. You always have that option to drop down to your knees. We want the hips and the chest to raise and lower at the same time. Inhale on the way down, exhale the way up. 10 more seconds. Challenge yourself to a couple toe push-ups. There's that rest. And we're standing back up. We have jumping split squats, or without the jump, just your standard split squat. Keep that same leg in front. I'll switch you at 15 seconds. And go. If you're jumping, don't worry about getting a whole ton of air because you won't probably in this move. 90 degree bend in that front leg. Switch legs. Woo, feeling the burn pretty quick with these. 10 seconds left. Two. There it is. All right, just like the warm up, we have some inchworms. So reaching down towards your toes, walk your hands out, pause, and then right back in. And go. So option one is all the way down here on the mat. Feel that stretch in the hamstrings when you come up. Option two, we have your hands on the step and we're walking those feet back and then right back in. You can also do this here against the wall, just like the push-ups, to give you another modification. Squeeze that core. When you walk those hips out, you want a string pulling them up and rest. Head down to the ground, we have glute bridges. Feet flat, bring your feet in as close as you can. Try to touch your heels with your fingertips and squeeze up at the top. Here we go. Exhale as you come up. If you're not one to lie down or make that transition as quickly as needed, we're gonna reach, we're gonna mimic a deadlift. We're gonna work on keeping a nice flat back, squeezing the glutes. Exhale on the way up. Six seconds left. Making sure you're getting that full range of motion. Take a rest. Hop back up if you're on the ground. We have skaters to finish off our first round. Starting in six seconds. So we're coming across and reaching with the opposite hand. Go. Shoulders stay back. Nice wide jump, good. 20 seconds left. If you're not jumping, take that wide step. And that gentle landing, just soften, soften the blow on the knees, really. Five seconds, three, two, one. Take a rest, deep breaths. Head back to the top for up-downs, also known as a burpee. No push-up in here, unless you feel like you could use some extra, even with those coming up. Go. All right, now we know the moves. Let's pick up this speed. Jump or step. 
If you're not doing that jump up at the top, still reach those hands up overhead. We've got 16 seconds. Woo. We're almost there. Two. And rest. Getting ready for sit out. Push up position on the ground. Reaching a leg through. Or from the step. Here we go. Alternate right and left. Now feel free to switch it up every round. If you want to try both and see what you prefer, or just get some variety in there, you always can. 13 seconds. Slowing this one down a little bit so we stay in control of the move. Rest. Big deep breath in and out. Stay standing. We've got sumo squats coming up. Bracing those feet, toes out wide. Two seconds. And go. Now we're going to try to sink a little deeper. You feel like you want to kick it up. You can add in a jump. So at any time we're going to add in any plyometric movements, more explosive movements. Those are going to drive the heart rate up. So be ready for that. 10 seconds. Don't forget that breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep it going. We're almost there. Rest. All right, let's get those push-ups in again. Take some deep breaths. Get in your push-up position, whether it's from your toes or your knees, the chair or the floor. And go. So you can switch it up. You could do every other. So a toe push-up, a knee push-up. That'll get you a little variety and try to keep you in that pattern so you're not pausing for too many breaks. But if you feel like this is the only way from your knees to get your chest down, once you get it closer, stick to those knees. And rest. Stand on back up. I know we got a lot of up and down here. We have split squats next. With or without that jump, one leg in front, one leg behind. If you need to, have some support. Turn that chair around. And that's going to give those knees maybe that extra needed support. Try not to put too much pressure into the hands, but this could also give you a little help with balance. And switch legs. Shoulders back, evenly pressing through all four corners of that front foot. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Turn that chair back around. You might need it later. Inchwards. Head back to the edge of your mat. Starting in seven seconds, reach those hands towards the ground, and we are walking out into a push-up position. Here we go. Pause, right back in, and pause and stretch those hamstrings. Make sure that you're walking those hands all the way out so they come right under the shoulders. 10 seconds left. Don't forget that string that's guiding your hips up. There it is. On your back, we've got some glute bridges coming up. So either glute bridges or those deadlifts without the weight. So we're just reaching both hands down. Two, one. Here we go. Right when you feel those hips hit the ground, shoot them back up. Squeeze at the top. You got this. Exhale as you come up. Keep working through. We have skaters coming up next. And we're there. Squeeze it in. Head back up. Skaters. 
Again, we're coming across. So it's really good to get some lateral movement in your day. And that's what we're doing here with the skaters. Two, one, coming across. Good, again, soft landing. Nice, wide jump. We're now working the hips and those inner thighs a lot more than any just forward motion. Our bodies don't get a lot of this movement in the day, typically. 12 seconds left. Right when that buzzer goes off, quick sip of water if you need it, then we're back to the top. Three, two, one. Really quick drink. Still just 10 more seconds to switch. Back to burpees. Top of the third. Two, one. Here we go. Good. Oh, arms up. Even there. I just caught myself with cheating a little bit. Nice tight core. Again, we're jumping or we're stepping and bringing those arms up. Same thing from that chair. Whew. Rest. On to the sit outs. So we're heading down to the mat in that push up position. And we'll be coming across. So right now I'm reaching with my left hand towards my right toe and go. Nice. Controlled. The other option from that step is a hip tap. Just because this twisting motion is a little challenging to do from an elevated position, you want to engage the core and obliques and have that be the focus, not just balancing. Three. All right, make your way back up. Sumo squats. Feet wide. Toes are gonna to be turned out quite a bit so we can lead those knees out to the side. Two, one. Inhale, exhale, kind of like those push-ups. You wanna do a jump and then a squat. That's a good way to vary each round. Shoulders back, 15 seconds. A couple extra jumps, a couple extra body weight squats. Eight. Don't look down. Rest. Head back down. We have some push-ups coming up next. Starting in 10 from the wall, from the chair, or from the ground. In three, two, pop up on those toes. The other thing I can show you is called a half seat push-up. So we go down on the toes up on the knees. So this is another good in-between motion. So we got a little bit extra weight on the negative part of this mo motion, and that's on the way down. Four seconds. All right, remember those split squats. So do whatever version that works best for you, either with the chair, without the chair, with the jump, without the jump, one leg in front. And go, and we're pushing whatever hip is back. We want to push that hip forward so they stay squared straight ahead. In five seconds, we're going to switch sides. Switch. If you jumped on that first side, you better be jumping on this second side. Five, four, you can do it. Two, one, Woo. shake it out. And heading down to the end of your mat, we have some inchworms. Either walking those hands out or from the chair, we're walking those feet out. Two, one, go for it. Engage, engage, engage that core. Stop when both hands hit the toes. And then come right back out. Stop when you're in a plank. Good. 
Good job, five seconds. Rest. All right, now we are on to those glute bridges or those deadlifts, weightless deadlifts, we'll call them. Five seconds, bring those feet nice and close, reach for your heels and go head down. Squeeze up at that top, that extra, that little half inch, inch up at the top. We wanna get all the way up. That's where most of the work is being done here. Keep those quads parallel, keep working. Exhale on the way up. Good, all right, one more. Let's get those skaters done. We've got two rounds left after this, and I'm gonna offer you a couple different variations if you wanna switch it up. Three, two, one, here we go. Let's jump a little wider here, or step. Now try to touch that toe. 15 seconds. Last 10. Burpees are coming up next. Two, one. Big deep breaths. Quick sip of water. Here we go, we have those burpees coming up. This time you wanna add in a little flare. You can add in a plank jack. So we're coming out, in, and up. Again, this is optional. If you're quite happy at your chair or with your other burpees, don't change it. It's not meant to confuse you. <laughs> Just give you some options. If you're stepping and you want to step, you can always do that. Three seconds. Here we go. Rest. We have those sit-outs next. Sit-outs are complicated enough if you haven't done them. We're going to stick to that. If you're struggling with this, just hold a plank. Two. Again, if, you, if we get to this one and every time you're thinking, oh, goodness gracious, just hold, hold the plank from your knees, from your toes. Just engage that core. 15 seconds left. 10. I want you to keep working no matter what version you're doing until you hear the buzzer. And rest. Go ahead and stand up. We have those sumo squats again. In 10, feet wide. And the hips are leading this motion down. Shoulders are following. And go. So you can see when I start to look down, then my shoulders start to lead the motion. We want the hips to be in charge. You can even look up a little bit at an angle. Add in a jump if you want. 12 seconds, or squat to your chair if your knees are starting to feel achy. Listen to your body. We all need different things. Two, <laughs> Woo. take a rest, because we have push-ups coming up. And I know that push-ups get your heart rate up. So from the chair or the wall, if you're using a chair, you want to try to get those hands probably to the widest point of that chair. Once you have a really big chair. And if you do these push-ups and you can get here and up, that's perfect. I don't want you to come all the way down and then feel like you need to pull yourself all the way back up. If you can get here, stay there. Or try the wall. Good. I knew it was coming. Split squats coming up next. So that's with that one foot in front, one foot behind. We're really working this front leg. This is what we're working. Not this one yet. Let's try that jump. Good, whatever you want to do with your hands, 
I feel like I can get a little extra air. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. When I do this, switch hands, or switch legs. Five seconds. And three. And two. Woo! Shake it out onto inchworms, making your way back to the edge of the mat. Now, another opportunity to add a push up in if you'd like. So when you walk those hands out, we're gonna come out, option, for a push up, and then right back in. Keep that core nice and tight. Take a look at your toes. We want those toes to be pretty close. So if they're taking up, if they're wider than your mat, bring them in, bring it in. Good, head down to your mat. We have glute bridges coming up next. Option for a single leg glute bridge. So one leg will be up. The other's down. I'll switch you at 15 seconds if you're opting for a single leg. Now only stick with this one if you feel like you can get your hips all the way up. If you feel like you cannot get them as high, put both feet down. It's going to be better for you, better for your muscles. Switch legs if you're doing one. Exhale at the top. Squeeze, rest, hug it in, stand up, skaters, big deep breath, you can reach those arms up overhead, get set, in three, two, one, here we go, if you want to swap this out for a lateral shuffle, give it a little variety, depending on how much room you have, again, we're just going for a lateral motion, if you felt good at those skaters, Stick to the skaters. 15 seconds left. And if you feel like you don't want to change anything, don't change anything. Eight seconds. Five. Three, let's go. All right, last round. I'm pausing this. I'm giving you an extra 10 seconds. Catch your breath. Get some water. I want you to be ready to give this last round your all. Same exercises. All right, 10 second warning. Eight, burpees in five, three, two, one. Here we go. Add that plank jacket if you want. Step if you're stepping. Keep working till the buzzer. That is your challenge this round. Twelve seconds left. Good. Option from the chair. Whatever you're doing, we're still moving for five, three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Sit out. Head back down to your mat again push-up position, or from that step. And three, get set, two, one, here we go. Now we're not speeding it up, but we are working the whole time. If you feel really confident in this, you can speed it up a notch, but stay in control. 20 seconds left. Engage your core, tuck your tailbone, Spin all the way into that side plank. Six seconds. Three, let's go. And rest. Stand back up. We have some sumo squats coming up. Feet wide, toes out. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. You got strong joints? Try a jump. One. One or two jumps in there. If not, sink low. As low as those knees can handle, legs can handle. And let's pick it up. 15 seconds. 
We're giving the legs a break after this with the push-ups coming up. And five, three, two, one. Get ready for your push-ups. We're getting there. 10 seconds. Hands under those shoulders. Big deep breath. Three, two, one. Here we go. Big inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Now is not the time to forget about breathing. Hands are right under those shoulders. Eight seconds left, tighten up that core. Keep going. Woo! Heading back up. We got four left. On to split squats. One leg in front, one leg behind. Chair if you need it. In three, at a jump if you can. Good, we're not switching legs till 15. Try to get that back knee all the way down for a gentle tap on the ground. Switch legs. Shoulders back, four seconds. Woo! Inchworms, head into the end of the mat here, or hands on the chair. Big deep breaths. Heart rate should be up there. Three seconds. And go. Again, if you want to add in that plank jack, you can. Keep the core tight. We want the core to be just as much of a focus here as anything. Three seconds. Woo, head down. Let's finish off with glute bridges followed by skaters. You got this. Five seconds option for one leg. Here we go. Squeeze up at the top. Get control of your breath. Inhale down, exhale up. Go ahead and switch legs. Good, you've made it this far. Don't stop before that buzzer, because I know you can all keep it up. Okay, take a rest. Let's finish off with skaters. And then, I know everyone will appreciate this, we're lying on the mat for the remainder with some core. Three seconds. All right, here we go. Skaters, nice wide jump there. 20 seconds, 15, really reach that leg across, let's go, we're not going to do our last 10 seconds so everyone keeps going until the buzzer goes off, there it is, nicely done, take a big deep breath in and out, we're almost there, you should be very proud of yourself for completing those. Go ahead, head down to your mat. Option to head on your mat for these or stay on your chair. I'm gonna show you two different versions. This next part, we have 20 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest for three rounds. We've got flutter kicks and then right into a reverse crunch, legs extended. Option two, you're better off staying a little bit more vertical. Um, hands on your side, alternate right and left. And then exercise two, we're gonna try to lift them both up together. Listen to that buzzer. So exercise one, we either have the flutter kicks or the alternating knee tucks, 20 seconds of work, 
10 seconds of rest. Get set up in your chair or the mat. Starting in five seconds. Three, two, one. Good, so I'm gonna show this first set. We have down to the mat, alternate right and left. Press that lower back into the mat. We're working for another 10 seconds. Four, three, let's go, two, rest. Now we have those hands behind them, um, your head, we're lying out flat. We're extending those legs, tucking your knees into your chest. 20 seconds. Bring those elbows up to the knees. Exhale when you do. If that's hurting your back, keep those knees bent. We can always modify. If that still hurts, just do the legs. We'll find something. And rest. Those of you on the mat, stay on the mat. We're back to flutter kicks. Those of you in the chair, stay in your chair. Plant those feet. Two, one. Tuck in one knee at a time. Alternate right and left. Those of you doing flutter kicks, if your neck is feeling tight, go ahead and rest your head on the mat. We're still going to be really feeling it in that core. Trust me. Seven seconds. Almost there. And rest. Good. Those of you on the mat, we're lying out flat with our hands above our head, legs out flat in the chair. Stay right where you are. We're tucking our knees into the chest. And go. Those of you in the chairs, if you're having a hard time lifting both at the same time, stick to alternating right and left. We're really getting into the lower abdomen here. Those of you doing these chair leg lifts, three seconds. And rest. All right, head back down to the mat for this last round. We've got one more set of flutters, one more set of reverse crunches. And go. Keep those legs straight. Option to rest your head. 10 seconds left. Doesn't take too many minutes to really get into that core. Two, one, rest. You can hug your knees in for a minute. And then extend them out long, hands over your head. Getting into those crunches. And here we go. This is it. You can do it. It's not a fake out. It really is the end until we stretch. <laughs> and rest. Reach those fingertips up overhead. Take a big deep breath. We're going to do, ignore this next voice that says done. And reach, reach, reach those fingertips. Big breath in the nose. Out the mouth. Good. And I want you to hug both knees into your chest. Nice and tight. This is if you're on the mat. And then fold those legs over to your right, keeping them stacked. Stay down there. Those of you on a mat, those of you in a chair, we're going to do a seated twist. So we're going to sit upright. We're going to twist. Still getting into the back. Holding. For another five. And switch sides. Those of you on the mat, fold your legs to the other side. Those of you in the chair, go ahead and twist to the other side. Good, and I'm gonna have everyone make their way up. We're just gonna finish with two big breaths here. Big breath in, reach those arms up overhead. Big breath out, we're reaching down towards the toes. And take another big breath in, reach those fingertips up overhead. Big breath out, reach down towards the toes and shake it out. Alternate right and left leg down here. Really, really good job today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have some extra time to get a few more stretches in there, always encouraged, but I really appreciate it.
Thank you so much you. Jenna, for being with us on this Monday and giving us such a great workout. Thank you for that. And thank you to all of our Dream Bank guests who has joined us. For more of our Dream Bank events, please be sure to check out our Dream Bank Madison Facebook page. Bye, everyone. Thank you.